Hey there stampers and welcome to a product profile. Um, I One of my customers ordered this uh, doily, what is it called, large paper doily. And um, I had been reading that there was some difficulty with those who ordered this right away um, in getting it to work. So I, I ordered it myself because I wanted to be able to help my customer. And um, I played with it this week. So one of the things I had heard was that it would, it had a difficult time getting um, the bits out of the die. So the first one, so the first thing I did, I had read that if you put packing tape on your die, and I used the cheap, very thin packing tape, and I used three strips, and I, I did not overlap. Here's a seam right here, and here's a seam right here, but I was careful not to overlap because I didn't want any more, you know, I, want, I didn't want the surface to be uneven. So I applied a th one layer of packing tape and then just trimmed around so it fit the die. And I cut out my first bit. And I had also read that designer series paper works a lot better. So I cut this out and you can see where I did have trouble. I was having to really, I used my paper piercing tool to punch out the bits and they did tear. Um, they were not fully cut. So on the next one I added a shim and I just used a piece of cardstock that I had laying around and so um, I had the die with the tape and the designer series paper and a shim. I think I had the shim underneath so it wasn't actually cutting. And and then this one came out super easy. You can see there's no tears on the back and it popped right out. So the one sheet of our cardstock is a perfect shim for this. So then I tried it with cardstock because I had read that that was difficult. And with the shim it also came out fairly easily and um, it worked well. You can see there are no tears or rips and it, it, it looks really pretty. So um, that is my product pro profile. I would use this and recommend it with you know the the, the knowledge that you probably should put a thin layer of packing tape and use one layer of cardstock as a shim. And at least that's how it's worked for me, so um, that's how I'm going to recommend to my customers that it works. But everyone should try it first without the shim just to see, and then you can always add a shim. So that's it. I really love this, and I can't wait to use it um, on a card. And I hope you found this helpful. See you next time. Bye.